Hello everyone. In this video, let's see uh, the differences between the generics and uh, any type. So generic is a type and uh, any is also a type. So when to use the generics and uh, uh, what is generic and when to use the any type and what is any type, what are the pros and cons of uh, these two data types. So let's discuss in this tutorial. So uh, we know that both generic and uh, any type provides a way to work with values of unknown type, but they have, uh, but they serve different purposes actually. So, but generic, whereas if you can see the generic usually, uh, for example, if we want to take an array, uh, sorry, this is array element is a generic value, we generally give the values like this, correct? So if I mention it as, this is a generic array, uh, that means if I if I men mention it as uh, integer, that means I can use all the integer values, or I can mention it as a string, and I can use all the string values. Other values I cannot use. For example, I have given it as string, so it cannot convert value into true type string. So it will not allow the compile will give compile time error. So you are if in case of generic, so one good advantage is you are type safe. Right, compile time itself. So type safety happens at compile time itself. Correct? Here I can I have to give a string, and uh, so I know here that the array is having the collection of string. All the string related operations I can apply here. For example, r uh, zero dot count, which is it is having six characters, or uh, so without any runtime checking and and all. I can directly apply it. So this is a generic type. So uh, uh, generic types are used to create a reusable code that can work with a variety of types. A reusable code that can work with a variety of types. It could be a string, integer, or our custom type, anything. Well, and also it ensures type safety, uh, which is at compile time. So we don't need to have, uh, we don't need to worry much about the runtime. So the type safety happens at the compile time. That is the advantage of a generic type. So a generic type is defined using a placeholder type parameter, which is element in case of array. Here we have mentioned is a string string array. Oh, and we can replace it by any concrete type also. For example, if you have a custom type, uh, let me take a custom type. Uh, I can create it with any, any uh, for example, where id, sorry, where, uh, where id int, where name, string. Okay, so it is a concrete type, and uh, I can also replace it with a concrete type. Correct? Then it will expect all the items should be of product type ID one string something, and I did this and print something ID two. And here also I can don't need to check any runtime and a dot name so it will not give me any runtime errors why because it is type safe generic is something that gives the type safe so I can give primitive value um, value types uh, data types like um, strings and integers and I can also give custom uh, data types concrete data types like uh, my own defined <clears throat> and this allows the same code to be used with different types without sacrificing uh, sacrificing type safety. For example, uh, if you can see this array, uh, the, there is a type safety and you are not uh, compromising on type safety. This happens at the compile time. So that is basically, the, uh, basically those are, uh, that is the advantage of generic type. Whereas uh, when you talk about any, let's see for example, any means, for example, uh, let me name it as any array if I if I mark it as any I can give it a value 1 for example it doesn't warn anything okay which is convenient and I can go here and I can give any value like I can give a string value I can give yeah, anything anything I can give a custom concrete type value anything but any you can use when when you don't know when it is a heterogeneous collection correct 
that means you can give any any value uh, but the problem is at the compromise of type safety for example what what do you mean by at the compromise of uh, at the compromise of type safety means for example uh, let's take an array this is okay it will not give any compiled error but why because it is homogeneous all are integers what if i have integers and i have some other uh, custom types also okay and then it becomes heterogeneous and your compiler wants you saying was heterogeneous collection if you can see the full error it is saying heterogeneous collection literal could only be inferred to any add explicit type annotation that means it is saying either you do this or you can write it as any also so uh, what is the problem with the uh, heterogeneous connection or using any is it's like uh, it's like id in objective c so if you remember objective c is having a data type called id using which we can assign any value that means here there is no type safety why because here if i go i need to carefully if let my array of 0 or let's say 1 or 1 0 1 2 3 okay 3 uh, as string i don't know whether it is a string or it can have an integer it can have a string it can have a product uh, if let then only i can write i need to do str dot count correct now it, it will give me the count of this which is 11 that means this runtime check is needed if it is heterogeneous connection if you are using the any data type so at compile time it doesn't know what it is going to be having it could be of anything that is the reason it, it, it is not type safe uh, type safe at compile time at the runtime you need to check and use it correct so that's uh, that's basically uh, any type uh, where on the other hand any is a type that can represent any type at runtime at runtime it is used when uh, the type of a value is not known at compile time generally for example if there is a service call and sometimes it can return integer and sometimes it can uh, return the string the same service call based on a, some particular condition then uh, then, the, uh, then 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 we have to go with this any type at, at runtime if you don't know the data type we don't have any chance we need to go for any correct but at the compile time itself you know like well, the array is going to be a list of uh, collection of product from the service call of course we can go like this and it is a type safe at compile time itself whereas when we when we are uh, having this any type it is not uh, type safe at uh, uh, it is not type safe at uh, compile time we, it, uh, at runtime it can have any value like this also at runtime it can have any value at, at any point of time during the program also you can assign any value you can assign an integer value you can assign a string value so that means at that at the, um, so we need to sacrifice the type safety at compile time and go for the any data type so so that is the reason we should be very careful uh, if we uh, which you want to take based on the requirement okay why because any sacrifices the type safety as the compiler cannot verify the type of the value until runtime correct compiler cannot verify the value at runtime whether at ind index 1 what it is having whether at index uh, uh, 3 what it is having the compiler cannot verify it so it will not uh, it will be silent but at runtime if you don't do this check the, your app will get crashed okay so so if, if, if we if uh, uh, if you are using any uh, which is a special data type that represents any type including both classes and structures which is it, it is similar to uh, object in uh, object class in Java or ID ID type in object you see uh, basically the any type is useful when you need to work with values of unknown type in certain type or when you need to mix values of different times in a collection which which we just discussed heterogeneous correction for example you can use any as the type of a variable or as a constant to hold any kind of value okay so that's that's basically uh, if we if, if we need to summarize uh, if you need to summarize generics uh, types provide this type safety and uh, enable code reuse with the different data types whereas 
uh, uh, used with different types uh, while any is a type uh, that sacrifices type safety uh, in favor of the flexibility so it is it is of course it is very flexible but it is very flexible giving any value but it's it sacrifices type safety we should be very careful when you're using the content in this whereas the, this is not that flexible generic i understand only it can go with one fixed data type but it, it is very safe it is a very safe type safe at compiled time itself whereas at compiled time itself uh, array uh, sorry any type is not uh, uh, it, it's not safe so if if we come across, come across a situation where we need to go for the generic or any or what are the what are the exact difference what is the exact difference between a generic and any data type so uh, don't get confused why because generic is also used for different data types but it's a fixed okay if you are saying a collection as a generic uh, that means you can pass only one type of course you cannot pass two types correct we cannot it is fixed what is going to be having it is fixed though it is generic of course you can reuse the code with the different uh, uh, primitive or uh, custom data types but it is fixed but whereas any it is very flexible very handy very uh, 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 for developers it's very easy to use uh, use any and put any data type if needed across the application based on but uh, we should be very careful uh, wherever there is flexibility uh, there is a compromise of uh, security actually okay so that's pretty much uh, the difference between generics uh, data type and any data type in uh, swift hope uh, this post is useful thank you